guys welcome back to my channel so I am back I know I haven't put out a video for a week <laughs> which uh, is a little bit longer than I'd like but if you follow me on snapchat you'd have seen that I was down in Los Angeles I was visiting some family so now I'm back home I am ready to start cranking out videos for you guys for the holiday season so this is my first holiday like Christmassy look you know, um, this is all affordable slash drugstore products under $10. So that's amazing. <laughs> I almost never do like an all drugstore tutorial and I was like, you know what, I gotta serve it. I gotta serve that sleigh using affordable products for you guys. Cause you know, everybody's trying to ball on a budget. Ain't no shame in that. So before we get started, uh, a few things. Number one, if you aren't subscribed, girl, what are you waiting for? Do it right now. Click that subscribe button, click that bell so that you get notified uh, for when I upload. And if you are an oldie but a goodie, welcome back. I'm so glad to have you back for another video. So number two is I'll be doing some giveaways for this month and I want to give away prizes to the most engaged uh, you know, subscriber slash Instagram follower. So I have all my links up above. Make sure you're following me. Um, engage, like videos, like pictures, comment. I love hearing from you guys. So uh, those, that's who I will be giving the prizes to. And uh, yeah, you're gonna see um, what those prizes are. <laughs> so stay tuned for that uh, coming up. Probably the best way to see those prizes is on my Instagram or Snapchat. I'll be announcing it on there. So yeah, follow me on either one of those uh, platforms. And number three is I will be doing um, seven days of videos coming up. So the first one will start on Friday. That will be December 9th. So I'm super excited. Like, I've never done something like that. I don't really vlog like all the time, so I didn't want to do Vlogmas, but I'll be putting up seven makeup looks slash skincare or beauty related videos every single day. So make sure you guys are following that because I've got a ton of cool looks planned out and I don't want you guys to miss out. So, okay, now that I got all those things out of the way, we can jump ahead to the tutorial. Let's go. Okay guys, so first up I'm going to mix the NYX Honey Do Me Up and uh, also their liquid illuminator in, I forget this color, uh, oh it's Sun Goddess. So I'm going to mix these two as like a nice glowy primer on my face. Okay, so while that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and work on my brows. This is the first time I'm using this Imani um, brow eyebrow pencil. So this is the color uh, Blackest Brown. And I'm hoping maybe it's gonna go ahead and, uh, you know, match my eyebrows. But uh, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> So I'm just brushing it out here and then I'm going to lightly fill it in. I'm going for more of a natural brow look. And now that the brows are done, I'm going to go ahead and take the e.l.f. It's their clear gel. So one side is for your eyelashes if you want to do clear mascara and the other side is for your brows. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this on my brows to make sure that they stay in place. So now I'm going to move on to foundation. Um, this is the Milani Conceal and Perfect. It's like a two-in-one foundation and it's the color Chestnut. Um, now even though this is two-in-one, honestly I always like to use concealer to highlight so I'll be using that. But you know what, if you're looking for like a less glammed down look, you can definitely just use this as your two-in-one. I really like applying this one with um, a beauty blender because it's very full coverage 
and it really allows me to kind of keep it light if I want to, you know? Oh, okay, I am really feeling this foundation today, and it seems to be almost like a really nice match for me. I used this during the summer, and of course it was a lot lighter on my skin complexion then, but this looks really, really good. It's definitely that, like, fuller coverage, and right now I'm gonna go ahead and pick up my concealer. So I'm using the NYX uh, HD Concealer, and what is this? This is the color Nutmeg. So I love this concealer. It's really like not very full coverage. It's almost like the same as the NARS uh, Radiance. You know, like a little bit of coverage, but not a lot. So sometimes I like to like double layer concealers. I'll put it on, set it with, um, uh, setting spray and then put another layer on once that dries. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit of setting spray. This is the Maybelline Master Fix and I'm going to spray it onto my beauty blender. Ooh. And then I'm going to just set that like right into where I crease, like right into those fine lines. And this way it's going to really make sure, like reinforce that it does not crease because no one likes a greasy concealer. Mm -mm, I'm not about that life at all. Then I'm gonna take my little friend here and I'm going to use this. This is, I should tell you guys what it is. <laughs> it's the uh, Maybelline, uh, I believe it's the, let me get this little thing. It's their Master Fix Setting Powder. It's like hella white, but look, it just goes on like translucent. So don't worry, girl. Okay, so now that that's set, it's time to go ahead and warm up the skin because, you know, now I'm looking hella pasty. I'm not trying to look pasty. I want to look nice and glowy, you know what I mean? Okay, so first up I've got this Black Radiance. It's their custom concealer, but it has a concealer color and then a bronzer. So I'm going to dip this e.l.f. brush in there, and then I'm going to just lightly carve it out with the cream concealer. Okay, so now that that's like a nice, subtle little, you know, warm up, I'm gonna go ahead and take this uh, pressed powder in Ebony from Black Radiance, and I'm gonna dip this Luxie brush in there, and I'm just gonna use that to really like get in. And what this also does is it really sets that cream bronzer. All right, all right. So uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and start with the eyes. Normally I do the eyes first, but I just kind of wanted to switch it up. You know, I, I just was like, you know what? Let's just try something new. This is the Wet n Wild Eyeshadow Primer. I actually have not used this before, so we're gonna test and see how it compares to my favorite baby. Okay, so now that that's all done, I'm taking uh, the Blushed Nudes palette. Here, let me do this so you guys can really see it. Um, so that's it right there. Now, I love this, and I feel like nobody talks about this palette. It's super, like, underrated, and it's definitely, like, $9.99, and you can just create, like, so many looks from all of these colors. Like, it's just, it's gorgeous. So none of these colors have names, so I'm just going to, I'll put, like, a little uh, picture up so you guys can see which colors I'm adding, but I'm going to go ahead and start transitioning uh, with this nice, light, peachy color, and I'm going to slightly, slightly wing it out just because I feel like that always looks better with my hooded eyes. So for my main lid color, I'm using this single pot. It's a smudge pot from e.l.f. And this is called Wine Knot. Such a cute name, I love that. 
nice and cheeky. And I'm taking my Wet n Wild brush here, dipping that in. Sometimes it's actually really good to use your fingers, but I have nails, so can't really do that right now. And this color is so freaking pretty. Like, ugh, I love it. So now on the outer edge, I'm gonna use this like dark shimmer color and like really smoke it out. And now I'm gonna come through with my uh, ColourPop liner. It's a gel liner in Swerve. I haven't used this in a minute and I'm using um, my little Morphe B76 brush. It's like a little liner brush and I'm gonna go ahead and create a nice winged liner. Okay, so then I picked up the Maybelline Colossal Mascara. I'm just gonna put this at the tips of my lashes because I have single eyelash extensions. I don't wanna get them near the base or anything like that. Okay, so now I've got the Ardell Studio FX lashes and I'm going to stack them on top of my current lashes. Sweet, so now that those lashes are on, I'm gonna go ahead and apply another coat of mascara to the tips. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go in with this blush from Milani. I love Milani's blushes. This is called uh, Rose Doro. Okay, so since this blush has a lot of shimmer on it, I'm not going to add highlighter. I know, I know, crazy, but I just don't want too much shimmer on my face for this look. <laughs> I just want to keep it like, um, you know, looking good in real life. So this is from Absolute New York. It's uh, their matte lipstick in dark red. Okay, so the best thing about this lipstick is that it doesn't bleed, so you don't need to use a lip liner. However, I'm going to use a lip brush to just uh, go ahead and get closer to the line, you know, without going over my lips. I don't want to overline. <laughs> and of course, we definitely don't want to forget to set our face. So I'm going to use the Master Fix setting spray all over. So this definitely is like you know, very dewy. So I'm gonna let this dry and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so this is the final look. Um, I'm really happy with the way they turned out and I like the added lashes for a little bit of that pow, that glam, you know what I mean? So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video um, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.